hello again as you can see on the map this is our next part of our little journey we've winded at Anderton and moored up for a few days for a bit of chill time but now it's time to get going and we'd love you to join us so if you want to relax sit down get your cuppa or any other sort of drink and come along with us I'm sure it'll be a good one this so let's get going
flat. <laughs> yeah, we love that spot. It's nice, isn't it? We managed to get in uh, near the lift. Oh, yeah, did you? There was hardly any. We're going tomorrow. Going up there? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know the ones, they're all one day as you go under the bridge, but there's a nice big stretch. Just near the, near the overflow. We've left it for you. Lovely moorings at Croxton, well near Croxton Aqueduct, absolutely beautiful. It's about by hmm, dog muck again. Yes, sadly, it's becoming a bit of an epidemic. I used to think it was just on the streets, but it's certainly got onto the towpath now by lots of people, towpath walkers and boaters. It just seems to be, you know, just getting worse and worse, which is quite sad. You know, dogs left to run around, you know, not in control, and they just let them do whatever. And it's absolutely disgusting. And I wish something could be done about it, because it's not pleasant standing in something and then going into your boat or your care. So... People need to have a little bit more respect because that can spoil, you know, your enjoyment on the canals because it already spoils a lot of enjoyment in the parks and the, uh, the roads and that. So it's now on the tour paths. It's just a fact, sadly. But anyway, we're away from all that now and uh, Continuing our journey. I better get this. This is Bernadette. Hello. Hello, just testing. Everything is fine. Who else would that have been? I said hello as though it was a stranger. <laughs> right. On with another day's cruising. We did miss a lot yesterday, it was a bit, you know, rainy and that, so, and we'd only just done, done it. I know I like do, doing the boating wherever we are, you know, I don't believe in this, well, I've done it once, I'm not going to do it again routine. I just want to film boating as it is, and how it happens. Right, definitely on with it now. As we're coming along now, the boat on the right, it was there when we went down to Anderton, it says moorings for permit holders on one side but this is for people who would like to stop and get rid of the rubbish but this has been here for about five days now and it's tied where the, uh, the bollards are as well. Oh, I don't know.
very very windy today certainly is but uh, at least it's not raining and it's still very mild for this time of year it's incredible weather We're back at Big Lock now. Bernadette's said she'd have a little walk and she's walked from where she's dumped the rubbish up to the lock. I don't know if it's full or not, so I'll just hang about and see what happens. I suspect it's full, but you never know. Somebody could have got been moored up round here and gone and gone through very recently. Why I'm just waiting. Both me, me and Bernadette, particularly Bernadette, were, were pretty good cooks. I mean, it didn't work out because she, she went down the uh, scientific route, Bernadette, in her life. But originally, she was going to be a chef, and she's learned. I've learned a lot from her, and she's she's pretty good. And I was just thinking, if I, when I was cooking, if I cooked a funny bone, you know, and I put it in a pan and uh, I boiled it for a while, do you think you could describe that as a laughing stock? <laughs> I think that's a humorous type of joke. <laughs> now just why we're here imagine mooring up here can you hear it looks like it's empty so it's just the case of Bernadette opening these Oh, well, I thought it was empty. It's nearly empty. If it's just a couple of inches in, you can't really do out with the uh, with the lock gates. It be, it just it's just very hard. So any little bits taken out, and then it'll open easy enough. Oh my God! Here we go again. Back, back, back. You can close that now, Bernadette, it's fine. You can close it. I know, I know the red.
อสมิจฉาอ oh, ๋อ yeah. yes, yes. yes, we have. Uh, up the middle witch. And wherever we see a nice mooring. The Trent and Mersey Canal where we are is so close to Middlewich Town Centre if anybody wanted to do any shopping and that. You know, you just more up here on the right hand side and just walk through the little housing estate across a very busy main road and you've got a wide variety of shops there as well and some decent pubs. But again, we are not we're not stopping, we're continuing along and we'll be going up the middle witch locks, the three after we've got ourselves a top up of water No, I don't think we will. All the higher fleets, you know, all the higher boats, they're uh, all back in now as we're coming to the end of, well, we have come to the end of the, the uh, cruising season. A few do winter ones, not everyone, but another day here and this will be packed of, full of uh, empty higher boats. Yeah, it's all right. I'll just do the usual and hang around. Yeah, Manoeuvres are the order of the day here. Yeah, I think there's a, a boat coming down. Three to the left, one across from it. One to the right here, not tied up very well and comes out all the time. <laughs> I like the challenge. Ah, Bernadette was wrong there. There's none coming down. We've just got the lock ready. Very good. Well, Bernadette's not got the lock ready. We've got volunteers on for the last time this year. So it'll be next spring when you see them uh, back again, the volunteers. This video comes to an end.
We've had a lovely time on this trip and we hope you enjoyed watching. We would love you to join us next time as we continue on our little cruise. But for now, all we can say, and it's very important, is stay safe, stay well and stay warm. Tara.